Hello, my name is Kyneton and I've been a programmer for the past 19 years. This year, 2019, I want to teach C++ between now and, and March 2019. So in the space of three months, I want to make sure that all my subscribers, all my friends that want to learn programming, learn C++ language. So this is going to take three months. This is 2019, January, the first week of 2019. By March, you should be able to know how to write and run C++ programs or develop C++ application. So that I'm guaranteeing you. But the problem is you need to be consistent. So there's no need of moving from one website to another, from one video to another. Just let's be consistent. Let's follow this course every week, two lectures per week. And I'm sure that you will learn it. What you are going to do is to subscribe uh, to my channel so that when I make new uh, updates, the next lesson, lesson two, you'll be notified immediately you have option of uh, practicing it for the next three days before the next lesson comes out. So we are going to do this together. I guarantee you if you are consistent and follow the weekly course, then most likely you are going to be a C++ programmer by March. Uh, I want to also let you know that C++ is a bit more difficult than Python. That I have to clarify. So if you are somebody that wants to do something easy, that don't want any challenge, you are welcome to skip this video and focus on Python. But if you are somebody that loves challenges, you want to do new things, you want to crack the, the hard part of the programming, C++ is the key. And C++ programmers are not many. So there are very few because C++ is challenging. So let's do this together. Click on subscribe button to subscribe right now. And by March or April, you are a good C++ programmer guarantee. So let's follow the procedure. This is the procedure we are going to follow to set up everything we are going to use. And then by tutorial two, we actually start writing C++ programs. <coughs> so the first thing we are going to do, we are going to install Eclipse. So I'm going to kind of uh, end this presentation so that we go online to install Eclipse. So if you are using Chrome or Firefox, just go to eclipse.org, sorry, org, org dots, eclipse.com slash downloads. So at this point, org.eclipse uh, is actually eclipse.org downloads. So here you'll see uh, different tools. So what you are going to do is to download this. This is Eclipse installer. So you can see that there is no Java, no C++, it's just installer. With this installer, you can install anything that any package that Eclipse provides. So just click on it and get it downloaded to your system. Um, so I'm downloading it right now, as you can see. So, but I actually will stop it because I have already downloaded it, right? So download this Eclipse installer, and then let's look at the next step. Install Eclipse IDE for C++. Now open the installer you downloaded, and then let's install the installer for C++. So if I go to my downloads folder, you can see that I have uh, the installer somewhere. Let me see. Eclipse, yeah, I'll give you an Eclipse installer. Okay, so, um, okay, so I, I let me go back to the browser. Eclipse installer Windows 64. Let's see, give it a second. So you can see it right here, Eclipse installer for Windows 64 because I'm using 64B. So, I, so go ahead to run it. So I've, I've double clicked on it, so it opens. So this Eclipse installer, we are going to use it to install the C++ IDE. Now there is a difference between IDE and a compiler. So at this point, come to this place, Eclipse IDE for C, C++ developers, and then click on it, and then click on install. Okay, so 
if you install it, it's going to add a start menu entry and also a desktop shortcut menu. So I've already installed it, so I, I will not install it a second time. So when you do, you'll see the you'll see the, 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 the icon on your desktop, Eclipse CPP, and that is the name. It's not Photon, it's not Oxygen, it's not Neon or, 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 or any name. It's just Eclipse C++ 2018-09, all right? So the next step, possibly copy this step uh, and, uh, so that you get used to it. Install the CDT. CDT means C++ development tool. So open the, the Eclipse C++ uh, compile IDE you downloaded and then we are going to install C++ development tools. So one thing I want to let you know is that you can just copy these steps and uh, make sure you follow them. So here is Eclipse C++ IDE is open. So go to help and just go down to install new software, right? So if this, if this window opens for available software, just type CDT, right? So this is CDT and just click on it. So CDT, so double click on it, so it fetches the items. So you simply go to CDT main features. If you drop down, you simply choose one tool. You see development tools and C++ development tools SDK. So if you, if you click on them, you simply go to next and you get them installed. I've installed them, so I'm not going to install them a second time. The next thing you are going to do is to come to install main GW. Main GW is actually a compiler. Actually, Eclipse does not bundle the IDE and the compiler together, so we need to install the compiler separately. So we are going to go fetch the compiler, which is called main GW, and install it into our system. So to get it, simply go to, if I can remember the part, HTTP. Now let's start from sourceforge.net slash projects slash projects slash min GW. So at this point, min GW64, yeah. So what you can do is copy this uh, pause the video and copy this URL and make sure you get it right. So when you get it right, oh, hold on, let's see. MinGW, okay, so it will direct you to this page, right? Good. So at this page, you can just click on download. Your download is going to start in a few seconds. So. So you can see it downloaded right there, right? Good. So now what you will do is to go to your download folder and then install it. So I'm going to look for it in my download folder. So the name is mean GW, I'll show you. So you can see Second, main GW should be let's see. All right, so let me see. So you can see main GW sixty four. Uh, W64 installed. So simply click on it and get it installed into your system. So I've already installed it and I'm, go I'm not going to install a second time. So the next thing you want to do is to add MinGW to path. So if you install MinGW, uh, for me, I installed it and installed it in my C drive. So we can see it's installed in the C drive. So maybe I'll just